Hello viewers, well now it's time for a bit more Gran Turismo 6 gameplay and uh, today we have a video from Mike Chanel from outside Xbox. I asked as he was at the show, would he mind popping on along there having a drive for me? Mike's pretty experienced when it comes to uh, racing games, he knows his way around and could give me some great details and feedback. So here he is racing around in the Nissan Delta Wing, uh, giving a giving it a test, having a feel and testing out the physics on this new Matterhorn circuit. Uh, noting that from a visual perspective there's uh, very little in the way of distinctive scenery. Uh, it's a little bit bland it has to be said but I think we can see that and I think certainly in tarmac detail I've raised before something that I don't really feel is very fitting with the overall environment. It looks a bit, a little bit too perfect it has to be said though he has pointed out some nice elevation changes including the uphill braking zones into the tight left hander as well and you'll notice that he brakes a bit too much even because you've got to take into account the the gradient you can actually break later into those corners so it does circuits like this offer different challenges for the driver depending on what car you're in and how how competitive you really want to be on the pace adds a lot of additional challenges and reactive challenges depending on how fast you get into each corner and we see here a little bit of wheel spin for him as well so again you'll want to improve your lap times and understand how the power works through the car uh, noting uh, the delta wing actually how it loads up through the high speed corners and how well it turns as well fantastic turning so uh, apparently it's really good fun to drive as we look now at the willow spring circuit and uh, Mike feels this is a good example of what the new engine can do. Uh, interestingly, he notes the invisible walls are much further back now, uh, which means you can end up clattering across quite large expanses of desert should you get things wrong, which is nice. I know something's been raised a lot in terms of comments has been the invisible walls. I admit the invisible walls aren't necessarily something that bothered me myself, but uh, it's nice to know that they've modelled more of the scenery now and that's, that feedback has been taken on by... Uh, polyphony in, in improving uh, the Gran Turismo experience. So Willow Springs then, certainly probably the best looking of the new, new circuits, but it's more down to lighting and colour and visual feel. Just the fidelity of the circuit looks a lot better. I've been looking at Silverstone. I'm still not sold on the way Silverstone looks. Some of the gradients don't appear quite right. Uh, some of the colour appears to be a bit too garish. It's, uh, it's not really there. And I, I think that certainly from a tonal and palette perspective, Silverstone still needs some work and I doubt that's going to be done between now and release but uh, Mike is getting a feel doing this first lap this is more an explorative lap where he's sort of pushing the car and getting an idea on the physics for us and how that's going to work under braking and making a mistake there and again once he gets a wheel on the dirt it's all over so understanding the limit when you're locking up the brakes everything else and so now he's done an exploratory lap he'll do a lap now that's uh, where he puts together the experience he's gained on that first lap and improves upon it. And I, I say this to all racing gamers, you know, when you go to these events, you get on there, you have three laps on there, say, and you just, you just got to explore as much as you can on the first lap and then put it all together on the second lap, really get a feel for it. And for those who aren't racing gamers and not experienced at this genre, it could take them longer. And that's why a lot of the videos you'll see people spinning off every two corners and yeah, unfortunately that doesn't really give you an idea of the physics because you're not getting into a flow certainly the racing line helping here of course for those who don't know the circuit very well as Mike feeds his way around so overall though he says that it's very enjoyable uh, has noticed the development in the physics it certainly moved on and it's a lot of fun to drive so there's a lot in, that you can do in discovering speed from the car and uh, finding lap time. So uh, certainly the feedback from people playing Gran Turismo 6 is very good. And again, I look forward to a hands-on later in the year to see you know, how it works, how some of the braking works on some of the cars and everything else. Because that's one of the issues I had before. I just wasn't feeling some of the cars very well. Uh, admittedly, I'm talking about the initial release of Gran Turismo 5. But uh, that's it for this video. As ever, there'll be more from me, uh, including lots of other E3 stuff very soon.